Joined by Calvin Dark, is the principal and co-founder of RC Communications, a branding and media relations firm based here in Washington. Calvin, President Trump said this is a total and complete exoneration of himself. How do you look at it? For his purposes, for political purposes, it's exactly what he needed. Because see, from now until November 2020, he gets to use what he just said, no collusion, no obstruction. And there are other legal, obviously, ramifications. The Democrats are going to continue. But for political purposes, he got exactly what he needed. Because some say this is uh, pretty complicated in the fact that uh, for the no collusion part, it was pretty clear. Mm -hmm. uh, for the no obstruction part, uh, the Mueller investigation could not uh, say definitively that there is no obstruction. But the attorney general said there was no obstruction. Well, two things about that. One is, when I was, as I was reading the letter, like, I'm not an attorney, but I had questions about the obstruction point. You know, the uh, director of the FBI was fired because of this. And there were other things that seemed questionable. So I do think there are legal paths that people need to go and investigate. But here's the thing. When it comes to collusion, as President Trump has been saying, he was cleared on that. And I think most Americans, either his supporters or those on the fence, would say, yeah, there may be, if you dig into the weeds, something maybe a little nefarious, but if it wasn't enough for him to be charged with something now, then it's not enough to not make him president. And for that sense, in that sense, it's a win for him. You know, some Democrats, uh, including the chair of the House Judiciary Committee, uh, Mr. Nadler, uh, mm -hmm. said that um, this is not a total exoneration for President Trump. And other Democrats are said, uh, wait a minute, not so fast uh, regarding the exoneration part. Well, you're exactly right. And if you what look, do you think? Do you think the Democrats will make an issue out of it? Yes, I think the they will. And, and I think they should. But here's what they need to be, pay attention to. When it comes to an exoneration, the actual letter that Barr sent said that they couldn't exonerate him, which the White House in their statement and the president, as you just saw, said that it did exonerate. That's a political question. There are legal issues that the Congress in its oversight role should investigate. Here's the problem. We have a year and a half, a little bit more, until the 2020 elections. It would give President Trump a re-election if the Democrats are focused on getting to the fine details of what needs to be followed up on this. So they need to make sure they measure, follow up on it, oversight as they should, but also realize that they have to campaign against him if they don't want him to have a second term. And that I have not yet seen a strategy of how they're going to do both of those things at the same time. Do you think this Mueller investigation, this is Russia Gate, the collusion allegations will fade out of the public uh, sight and mind uh, after this investigation? I think as far as uh, from a political standpoint, it will, because I think most people realize, even if whether they like President Trump or don't, that he was under investigation for two years, he was mostly cleared for political reasons, yes. But I hope it's not the end, because what we have to remember that I think everybody's forgetting we had a foreign country that affected or tried to affect our elections. So what are we doing for that in 2020? I haven't heard anything from the Democrats or the White House on what they're doing to stop that. I think that's the bigger issue. Calvin, Calvin Dark, thank you so much for your perspective. Thank you.